in Texas look behind you Cause that's where the Rangers gonna be I've been impressed with the Adelaide Crows defence though, their ability to get to the ball so quickly. And Tim, that's been the big talking point in Adelaide, the back six. There's been a lot of talking points. They lost to Port, obviously. That's a big talking point. But just the back six, no doubty this year. But uh, Thompson having a really big turn to Sloan. And then Sloan off a step. Bangs it to Walker. Well, it's a free kick. He engaged Morris early. And then Morris, from that point on, was always scrambling to hang on to him, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, there's not too many defenders, key defenders in the game. They're going to be able to match this guy for size and strength. There it is. It's just a... He knows that he can push Morris around. Morris is an undersized defender anyway. He does a manly job most weeks against the key forward for the opposition side. But in a one-on-one -on -one contest like that, a defender's relying on somebody being able to come over the top. So you can see his numbers are pretty high today. Yet to kick a goal. He's had some tough shots on a windy day. And that's a goal. Yep, it's on the board. And Adelaide... Are coming away. They are running themselves into big form. They say the Crows that he can keep up with the midfielders in the endurance area in training, so that's a big plus for him, isn't it? Sharked it beautifully, off to Judd and off to the races go the Blues. They're 18 points up. Now, Adelaide must get going from here. Henderson, Talia, his kick is overcooked. Scotland, one of the great old professionals in the game. He will just dwell all over McKay here. McKay did well, had some support. Brown, Scotland still running, did well. Brown's top spinner goes up to half forward. Chance now for the Adelaide Crows. The kick comes in from right to beauty. And Walker must go back and kick the goal. Yeah, you're right, Eddie. He needs to settle here. They desperately need a goal because Carlton have made every post winner. They haven't been able to hit targets, Adelaide. They're butchering the footy at the moment. Well, he's two kicks going inside forward 50. This will be the third time he's taken the ball in. Good little dummy lead, but little hook lead there. He'll look at it and think, oh, there's a fair breeze that's going to go as he watches it go away from his left to right. But as I say, once it gets within 30 metres, the ball should continue straight. From 52 metres out, the kick bends back, bends back, and he has worked it out beautifully. That's a great goal to big Taylor Walker. And when you see a bloke kick like that, you wonder why he played on the first time he took a mark on the 50 metre arc on the other side of the corridor. He has such range with his foot. It's a terrific little pass coming in because he just, he had a good look at what was unfolding in the forward 50. Who was that right, was it? Lot to nice. see Taylor come back at him. Nice touch on the yeah. kick too. Didn't try and over kick it, just kicked it to advantage. Very easy to accept. Just joined us. 20 points is the biggest lead of the game to either team. Thompson drops into a high, not paid, rightly so. Jacobs. And he launches it. Jenkins one on one row. Jenkins. Little flick down. Goes and gets his own ball. Caught. Hands it back. Right. Walker. That's his moment. And he nails it. First goal for Taylor Walker since the comeback. And he'd be really relieved and everybody in football is absolutely thrilled to see it. But he would be arguing, don't look at the forward line. That's the first time the ball's come down here. There hasn't been 15 Carlton players. This is the first little bit of open acreage, Jason, that they've had to move in. Yeah, it was actually a good long kick from Sam Jagers that was to the advantage of the forward in Jenkins. And then they were able to keep possession once it went forward. How long can he stay at full four while this game is, is fast sliding? McKenzie back to Shaw. Again, the pressure from the Crows. Wins the footy. The turnover of Eddie Betts. He's got Jench again. Oh, Jench has everywhere. got a couple. He's got Otten. Otten can go on and kick a goal here. Or he can draw the man and pass to Walker. Great and this up. time he should kick the goal. Strong spread from the stoppage. They're just working really hard. There was a wave of Crows players going across the ground, and there was plenty of options 
for Otten to, he could have had a shot himself from 50 metres out, just uh, looked to get into his teammate, third game back after that uh, ACL injury and just uh, hit up nicely. But Walker's moving very well. Is he what? Just needs a confidence needs boosting a goal, yeah. goal here after a bit of a photo of his last attempt. Three marks already for Tex Walker. The crowd will enjoy this. 45 metres out, brings it back, sends it straight through. Some real concerns here for the Suns. The numbers are starting to get away, and certainly disposals just... Uh, it's the way they're using the ball is the big difference. Disposals are fairly even, but 81% uh, by foot of Adelaide Crows, and that's mainly because of work rate. They've been able to find players out in space. That's a really strong mark in front of Stephen May. He looks fit. As we heard, he dropped a bit of weight from his playing weight last year. His arm was held in that marking contest, so that's fair enough. A little bit stop-start at the moment, though. Waiting for Jenkins to get into position. Or well, Martin for the big fly. Spoiled bets was going past at a million mile an hour. Shaw beaten to it by Lyons, and he did well to keep it going. Now it's a dangerous ball for Adelaide. To Walker. Jenkins is coming past. He got a bad bounce. Highbrow kicks it out on the full. Who's there first? Walker. Smart player. Yeah, smart player. I think Josh Jenkins just slowed down yep. at the suggestion of Taylor Walker. Mine, mine, mine. Here we go. We saw Ablett do it earlier in the game. Walker's kick one. He wouldn't miss this, would he? He had a shot just before half time to kick his second. Tight angle. Let's see what Walker can do. The crowd tells the story. He pumps the air. Texas got two. He's one of those natural goal kickers that just thinks his way through those shots beautifully. And uh, he knew exactly what he was doing. Here's the contest between May and Walker to start with. And Harbrow just tried to tow it towards the line. Got too much of it with a little bit of a bounce. And Taylor Walker just two steps inside, round the body, very confident. And the big man celebrates with the crowd. And they're pretty happy to see him back in action. No mullet, but he's starting to get the goals back on the board. He's moving fantastically, isn't he? No mullet, couple of goals. It's all good for Walker. Crowd love having him back. Four inside 50s as he gets the ball again here. Watch him follow up. Brilliant work to get it to Douglas. That's not a bad kick off the left boot to Walker. Will he use lines? No, he's going to go back and so he should. Adelaide brilliant from the stoppage there. Nice build up again. And uh, again, this man is moving extremely well. He's marking the ball above his head well. He's covering an enormous amount of territory. Looks fit. Well, that's the thing. I think this is the, the fittest he's ever looked. I mean, pre-knee, he wasn't this fit. He was a bit bulkier. This for his third, but more importantly, for Adelaide's biggest lead of the afternoon. Oh. Three to Walker. Crows by 21. We're just starting to really get a sniff of this one. It's back-to-back -back goals, stretch the lead out to 21 points. Uh, the midfielders starting to really get their hand on the ball. And they've just got life. There's plenty of zip around the, the stoppages. How's the give by Eddie Betts? Yeah, this is a player that, that knows that his game's in really good order. He's charging to where the ball's going. Things are falling his way. He's dropped a couple of kilo. We told Mark Rusciuto in, in an interview on Fox Footy a couple of weeks ago. He's been absolutely fantastic, Tex. Good signs here for Adelaide. Walker's now got three goals, and there's been a change. May goes to Walker. He's had Lynch's measure all day. Coming through Hall. Well done, Ottens. Andy Otten, I should say. Now Wright gets involved as well. Over to Jenkins. Walker's his target. He's had a terrific day. He's lost Did that easily. Yeah. Just held off Stephen May. Yep. Just trying to man up here the Gold Coast. And Taylor's kick might actually pay off in the end. It does. Great work by Lyons to keep Wright involved. But his kick misses the target. 
Swallow came through. Beautiful work from him to get it over to his teammate. Swallow attack again. And it's going to come back quickly. Smith's kick, or will it? It might bounce badly for Josh. He just tries to keep it in. Lays it off into the middle. Yeah, it's fair enough. Close call, but he hit the target. Yep. I don't think you can speak highly enough of David Swallow's oh, game no. today. How good was that attack on the ball? Wow. Saved a goal. It's a free kick as well. Just a little bit untidy, Riscatelli. And right, the sub. Oh, all alone. Walker. Well, you've got, to you've got to ask the question. How does the key forward in their game, mark number 11 for Taylor Walker, well, how does he have that much space? Well, you've played plenty of fullback as well. In the modern game, there's a handover of players. Stephen May had handed over Taylor Walker. And I think it was... Uh, Big Sam Day might have been on him at the time. He just waltzed off the off the lead and found space 35 metres out dead in front. Steve May's actually thrown the toys out of the cot lynch. He was blowing up early before that changeover. I mean, Taylor Walker today has really impressed me. Not only we know he's in touch and obviously kicking some goals, but it's the lateral movement, the power running he's displayed, I think has been the most impressive. It's ugly. <laughs> it's horrible off the boot, but it's a goal. <laughs> You know you're in for a good day when the dirty old floaters go straight through the middle as well. And that was a nice build-up. Here's the space. You see Taylor Walker, top of the skull square, has not got a player anywhere near him in the end. See Stephen May give Sam Day a bit of a spray. Well, Sam Day had a player. Unbelievably, Tex Walker didn't. I mean, it was a lot of confusion down there. And Tex reckons, how good is this full forward when you don't have to play on anyone? Tex is back big time, and don't the crowd know it? Four goals for Walker. Not his best kick, we must say, but uh, it's in the book for a goal. Nine times out of ten, when you go to kick that kick over the top, yeah. it doesn't get there. On there Brandon. All your momentum's in reverse. Put on. Put on. Brown. Jenkins' direction. And Smith trying to kill it towards the line, does so. Speaking of players coming back from ACL injuries and looking impressive, Zach Smith, another game under the belt. Every team has players away and injured yeah. or whatever, but they have missed Rory Thompson down back, haven't they, the Suns? Absolutely. Just their structure. Yeah. Quick kick forward by Yench, had a really good afternoon. Walker's there. Sloan. Got it out towards him for number five. It's a oh. handful for Tex. What an afternoon. The big Texan, he's on fire. And uh, five goals, just reward for a lot of hard work over 12 months to get back. He's pretty pumped. And he's that real focus. That's what